Hello, this is Dumont, and today I want to show you some of my interesting Lego figures. Now, the thing is, I like to build my own custom Lego figures. I like to make my own designs and uh, change up whatever Lego has built for us. What I'm going to do today is not that. I'm going to try to make these minifigures as close as possible to their originals back when they were sold. Now I may not be 100% accurate but I will do my best and hopefully this will be like a little bit of time travel back into the past and uh, bring back some interesting memories if not some curious details for you all. Okay these are the Space Ice Explorers and uh, these guys were looking for, I believe, the crystal thingy that you see right there. Uh, they pretty much came with a standard helmet and space backpack, which let me try to show you guys right here. If you can see, it's pretty much the standard uh, double tank stuff that they've been using. Um, what is unique is the decals on their body. Um, I think the face prints were kind of new, which I will show you in a second. Um, but really, it's the visors, the very unique looking Boba Fett style visors, and uh, they came translucent in this color, which I believe also at the time it was kind of new, which this orange translucent, which was really, really cool. On top of that, um, you see their, their weapon thingy right here, which is, it's this translucent, uh, you know, chainsaw. So it's, what is that, like a laser chainsaw? Very, very awesome. Uh, very unique, I believe, to this set. And they also came with, uh, these are also translucent uh, a ski parts that you can actually put or store onto their gun, which was also rather unique looking. Um, so very, very interesting guys right here. Uh, I thought they were really, really cool looking. Um, let me go ahead and open up the visor as you can see right there. So that's very awesome. You can see their faces. Uh, I, I do like how it lifts and closes and how it has like that antenna looking thing and the front is the pretty much like a cyclops looking visor. But just the fact that it's in this orange translucent is very, very cool. Uh, the ski parts right here, these do come off and attach to their feet. Here we have uh, Lego, another space set, but these guys are, I believe it was called the UFO set. And obviously these are the aliens, and if I'm not mistaken, one of the most popular, one of the most sought after uh, Lego sets ever. And I think one of the coolest minifigures ever made. These guys are simply awesome. Just look at the tremendous amount of detail going on on, on their uh, body decals going on right there. Uh, also with the helmet itself, tremendous, tremendous uh, little details. It looks like neuro circuitry, just some very complex alien advanced stuff going on. And uh, what really makes them awesome is the Predator style mask. That is tremendously awesome. I think everyone that saw this immediately thought Predator. Um, on top of that, not all of them came with it, but some of them came with this uh, body armor, this alien cool looking body armor, which, was, which is also very, very popular. And I know some collectors are very picky. If they are going to pick up one of these online, they want it to have this, uh, this body armor, which is quite rare. I have seen reproduced in other uh, space sets, but uh, let me move it around so you guys can get a, a view of these guys all the way. So very awesome looking Predator style mask and uh, there you can see the, the body armor going on and I think one of the coolest things about these guys is what does their real face look like? I think that's what we all want to see. So let me just remove their masks real quick and uh, I was very very surprised to see their faces and this is what made them extra awesome right there if you can see they had translucent heads, which at the time was kind of like unheard of, I think. Uh, very, very awesome. 
uh, does not disappoint, you know, with a tremendously awesome mask and then underneath the real face looks even awesomer or just as awesome. Like this guy almost looks like some kind of weird um, alien cyclops. This guy with his neon green, you know, menacing looking reptile looking eyes or something. Very, very cool. Now on top of that, they also came with something very interesting. This is the droid that I made. Um, I just used this very nice translucent piece just because those guys were also translucent so I used that and I just put a bunch of uh, hand things right here so it has like four arms and then just a basic uh, brick part now what makes it so interesting is the top piece right here is the alien logo from those guys and this was an actual piece that came with those guys and what makes it so awesome is this this thing right here is um, just like the Transformers um, robots in disguise. It is how do you call it? Um, should I say heat sensitive? Uh, you, you know, it's a, it's like one of those rub signs on those Transformers. You know, you you touch it, and because of the warmth of your temperature, it changes color. It becomes like green to red to just plain black. So w when it's not touched. It's very, very cool that it that it has that and it still works, you know, for all these years. I'm really amazed by it. Last but not least, these guys right here were another very, very successful, very tremendously awesome Lego set that was also space related. Uh, these guys are the aliens and they drove like these awesome bug looking machines. Uh, one looked like a dragonfly type spaceship, another, you know, um, they, they all pretty much looked kind of like a dragonfly modified type. So even their mask itself kind of, you know, almost looks like it wants to be insect-like, you know, in, in some warped way. Uh, I'm not sure exactly if I got the body correct for this guy, but I'm pretty sure I got the head correct. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... He, I believe, is the android out of the three. He's a robot, um, and this one right here is the queen, and this is the typical, uh, I don't want to say grunt, but the normal dude. And if you look at their body decals going on, it's awesome. Once again, you got this very complex looking neural circuitry type stuff going on on their suit. Uh, the helmet is very awesome, translucent. I, you know, I like this, uh, the neon yellow greenish color and then this one is the dark green color going on um, so let me remove the masks so you can see um, as you can see this one right here is the queen it is sort of female ish um, and this guy right here is the android so he does have like a like a robot style uh, face going on mechanical looking face and this is the other guy you know so these aliens had blue faces essentially and they were very very cool um, once again I, I do like their helmets which were rather unique and you know, I, I thought it was kinda interesting that they actually came with this uh, queen figure which you know their whole background was like the alien insect type people so you know a, a lot of insects have a queen like you know if you think of the bee or the ants and stuff so it kinda goes well with that